and so the characteristics of a batch processing system will be they can execute. Usually, they will execute the batch of jobs at scheduled time, at regular time intervals. So these are some examples of a batch processing system. For example, the payroll printing system, or the bank statements, the school report card, the UT report card. So this is again a batch processing system because they will execute at scheduled time. And for scheduled system backup, this is also an example of a batch system. For example, the school web same system, the responsible staff will do a scheduled backup system backup to back up all the data of the student and even the teachers at regular time intervals. So here we have the advantages of the batch processing system. So the design of the system is relatively simple as compared with real-time system. And we will talk about real-time system in the next slide. And it also better utilize the computer resources because the CPU idle time is minimized. For example, in the case of the school web SAM system, after the printing of the UT report cards or the school report cards for students, and then the web SAM system will be used to do other things. For example, some kind of school administrative work. And therefore, the system will be seldomly left idle because when it's not in use for printing report, it will be used to do other jobs. And lastly, repeated jobs or repeated tasks can be done faster.